Hi there guys, Sam here, welcome back to another video. You join me once again in my Mark 7 Golf R to talk about the Mark 8 Golf R and whether or not it's worth buying one now. And yeah, to talk around that, particularly the way the car market is, if you've seen my sort of recent videos, let's get straight into this topic. So yes, welcome back to another video. I hope everyone is all well. Now, I thought this was worth talking about because obviously the Golf 8R is a car that I've spoken about and documented so much on this channel, um, whether it's been fortunate enough to drive one um, from a subscriber or just the whole build up of it particularly in the last sort of year and a half and it's been great and I think the result of it is a fantastic car to be honest I think that's great uh, I, I, I genuinely would recommend it all day long I think the hard hardest part has been the price and obviously the starting price of just over £39,000 in the UK and obviously in other regions as well you've got different taxes and yeah it becomes a little bit difficult now we are in a little bit of a tricky situation in the in the car market and yeah please check out my other videos on that i'll leave sort of like a link above and yeah subscribe to my channel as well like share subscribe it really does help build it and um, yeah i generally just try to offer a bit of free advice i own a golf r and that's generally kind of a little bit of a topic i talk about um but yeah various things to help you out that's all it's really for now i had a little check on auto trader just to see right now today is in we're sort of like what 8th of june today 2021 and i was like i wonder how much you can get one used because obviously it's difficult to get new cars as i've kind of mentioned in previous videos but yeah what is the price on auto trader just a, a guesstimate now i can't see a car less than list which is thirty nine thousand pounds which is yeah which is quite interesting because obviously the car's been out for a few months those are cars which have done you know a few thousand miles and they're still sort of holding their own, which is good. It's great for whoever's owned them. And it's, yeah, it's good on that side. Maybe not so good for people who now want to buy them. Um, other cars that I've seen on there, like dynamic chassis control, a sunroof, um, you know, heated steering wheel, all the kind of options you'd want are still sort of like 42, 43,000 leading up a little bit higher. And that's quite a lot of money <laughs> to be spending on a used car because these cars have done sort of three, 4,000 miles. Um, which, you know, fair play to the owner <laughs> for enjoying them. Now, would I recommend people buy it today? Now, I think you probably know where I'm going to go with this one. It's ultimately, a, it's, a, it's a seller's market, if that makes sense, if, if that's the right terminology. Um, you know, I've, I've said before, you know, I can, this car is worth as much as it's ever been worth, really, in my ownership, which makes no sense because I've had it for four years. Um, yeah, you can get top whack. So if you want to buy an 8R right now, yeah, you're going to have to pay for it. And, and is that worth it? I generally would say, I would say wait, um, simply because I really do feel that after August, as we hit sort of like September, October, November, that kind of time of the year, um, these cars are going to be significantly cheaper, certainly less than sort of like the £35,000 mark. And that's potentially a good little place to get into. And then you can enjoy the four wheel drive in the wet. That's when you have the most fun in these cars, let's be honest. And that's why they work so well in the UK. So that would be my recommendation if you're looking to get one today and just kind of hold off a little bit. I'd probably say something slightly different for those people who are looking for a GTI Club Sport or a 45. I've spoken to people on the channel who are getting them, so many congratulations on all of that. Um, simply because I think with a front wheel drive, you want to enjoy it in the summer. Um, you want to enjoy it with it's drier and it's just a warmer climate, particularly getting the tyres up to temperature and stuff like that. So in that sort of condition i'd say go for it and it's a slightly it's been on the market a little bit longer um i last time i checked it was sort of around the thirty thousand pound mark you get those kind of cars for used so yeah different to what i'm talking to about the 8r so that's my sort of quick little advice because I, I know i have a lot of support on here and I, I just generally want to help people out and give people a sort of a, a different idea if you're sitting there sort of like ah oh, you know what i'm gonna do it. i'm gonna go for it and yes you know great if you can if you you know if you can make the certain figures work and you do the man maths um yeah, definitely, definitely go for it. But it, you, you're going to get hurt in come come towards the end of the year because, you know, the, the world is going to start to work itself out again. You know, historically, cars are awful investments and they do lose a lot of money. Whatever amazing deal you think you're getting, which you're probably not going to get at this time, particularly when you're buying a car, um, yeah, it's going to hurt you after that. And ultimately, I just want to help you out. You know, I want you guys to... <laughs> to have as much money as you can while still enjoying cars um, and you know a couple of months wait isn't necessarily the end of the world 
um you know i i waited quite a few years before i got into this car and i'm glad i did because it just it made the whole situation a lot more easy and much, much more attainable for me and um, so that's my advice um i would recommend the car though because it's just oh, it's just superb i'm hoping i'd love to try it again um yeah particularly and uh, uh, yeah with the world kind of opening up again as well I'm, I'm glad people are hopefully getting out and sort of enjoying themselves and yeah it's, it's a fantastic car to kind of do it in particularly if you want to go for a road trip in the uk take the family take friends um yeah it's one heck of a car and kind of keeping my eyes open eyes and ears open for the r and um, the 8r estate actually i think it looks a little bit weird which is a shame because i do love the look of the stance of estate cars um but that car's set to come out as well, I believe, this year. And historically, once you get enough Golf R 8Rs on the market, you know, it just makes it more easier to buy them, basically. And that's one thing I will say. I saw loads up for sale. Loads up for sale. And as I've said before, fortunately, not too far away from me, there's loads of other Mark 7 Golf Rs, 7.5 Golf Rs. And actually, one person, if you watch this and you live where I live, which is just outside St Albans in Hertfordshire, um, you might know who you are. Um, you did have a black 19 plate 7.5 Golf R, which I thought looked very good. And you've since traded it in for a black Golf 8R. And it looks fantastic, looks amazing. Um, and as you're in walking distance, if you'd ever like me to, to check it out, show it on the channel, please hook me up. But I think I'll be clutching at straws. Maybe I'll just knock on your door and ask. I'm just in that kind of mood these days, to be honest. Just have see the experience and see what people say. Um, but yeah, people are doing it and they are getting tempted in. And I suppose on the flip side as well, if you are looking to buy, the chances are you do have a car and you might have a 7.5 and a, you might have a 7R. These cars, you know, make sure you get as much money as you can for these. That is the big thing dealers are going to want cars because they're going to sell them as i've kind of spoken about on the channel so in that case if you're getting offered a crazy amount and you've seen a good deal on an 8r you know my sort of opinion might be slightly different to what i've just said so yeah it's it's a really tricky one to kind of um to kind of work out it, it's just it's the same with freaking houses as well isn't it doesn't matter if your house goes up in money it doesn't matter if it goes up 20 30 40 50 grand over the course of a couple of years you know the house next door is doing the exact same <laughs> and the next house if you want to buy is doing the exact same but it's just that kind of continuation of it doesn't matter if things go up or if things go down yeah yeah you're just constantly fighting battles aren't you it's just a complete nightmare um but yes if you're in that situation yeah maybe you can make it work maybe you can make it work and yeah i would obviously recommend the car and yeah subscribe like, share, subscribe to this channel, and you'll probably hear me talk more about it and get involved in the community as well. That's a big part of the channel. Massively appreciated of all the comments I've had recently. Um, and, yeah, just the support to the channel. And it's been fantastic. So we'll have over 2,000 subscribers, heading up to a million views, and that's all down to you guys. So thank you so much. So, yes, that's just a little bit of advice there. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments of what you're going to do. Really find it interesting, and I hope other people do as well. But thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, fantastic rest of your week, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.